So we'd like to welcome those of you watching the Colorado Texas Tech game Ron Franklin along with Ed Cunningham and Jack Arute and we are scoreless because we are about to have the opening kickoff. Texas did win the toss and they deferred to the second half. Nebraska had just a moment ago but they have put Derek Lucky into the ball game as the blocking fullback and that carry straight up the middle will be very close to I think this is a good distraction for the Nebraska players to be able to get on the road and get out of that heat. And of course he's not talking about the temperature. <laughs> no. I, I think decisions need to be made sooner rather than later for recruiting. Second down to 10 Jamal Charles on the draw play and he's going to have about seven of McCoy possibly with an audible. And there's Charles. Got nobody that's going to catch it. Yeah, if you get to that second level, the linebackers and those safeties miss, and he almost breaks that last tackle, and there's nobody home. Pitch goes to Charles, turns the corner, gets by one man, and he's going to be close to the first down. This is one of the worst defenses in the country, and they've played lights out this afternoon. John Childs in the game at uh, quarterback. Freshman right out of high school. Played at Summit High School in Dallas. And here's Jamal Charles. And this is what Ed was talking about. Give him a breath and you get blown away. That's 25 yards just like that. Well, and now with Childs, and, and we saw this play a couple of times. 25 on the run by Charles a moment ago. And here's Charles in the secondary. And he'll score. And Texas, Mac Brown trying to get control of the sideline. They're going to have to go for two. But there's still just over 11 minutes to play in this football game. Charles again. Here comes the blitz again. They hand it off to Charles. Turns the corner. Hang on. He's gone. Charles. Let's count it off. 20, 15, 10, 5. 86 yards, Jamal Charles, and they finally caught him with too many people punched in the middle. And you're absolutely right. Look at all of the white jerseys up around the line of scrimmage. And the last guy, Brandenburg, there is no safety because all of those guys were down around the line of scrimmage. Yep. And when the former Big 1200 meter champion gets that much of a lead. And they hand it to him right up the middle, and he hammers his way. You see the Huskers lining up at the line of scrimmage, and now the middle linebacker, another one. They come off the corner. Ryan Perry, and here goes Charles. 15, 10, 5, touchdown. 40 yards. There is no safety back. If we freeze it right here, once you're free, if, you, if you've committed everyone here, there's nobody home, and then you're going to get that block up top. And it's just, a, it's Olympic caliber speed. I, it just, I don't fault Nebraska for what they were trying no. to do. Jamal Charles, first three quarters, 74 yards, and look, in the fourth quarter, nine attempts, 190 yards. it back out to this side and Charles is going to take it inside the 30 stay on the field to play rather than going out of bounds game clock goes under 115 but here's Charles bounces it outside and again works very hard at keeping the ball in bounds and he does at the 20 and Jamal Charles running back for Texas in recognition of their efforts Chevrolet will make a one thousand dollar contribution to each university's general scholarship fund well his day was done until that false start by Mr. Dockery so Jamal should go thank him that he's got to come back out, out although Texas could just simply run out the clock if they chose to do so clock is at uh, 107 and Charles going to be stopped after a gain of one. Big day as far as Mac Brown is concerned. If he holds on to win this one, but it, it's appearing that that will happen. His 100th win with the victory here this afternoon. Wasn't even brought up. Didn't even want to talk about it. And Jamal Charles. 
with 217 yards in the fourth quarter may fall just short of the NCAA record of Corey Dillon at 222 yards. The yards rushing yards in one quarter. Charles has come to the bench though and will not get an opportunity to break it. This is Obanaya. And uh, Chris is going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They don't have to run another play. This one's going to go in the book. And people will look at it and say, well, Texas won, and that's four straight losses for Nebraska. Tell you what, folks, these kids from Lincoln, they fought their hearts out. And I, I guarantee you, Matt Brown is going to go up to Bill Callahan and congratulate him for a great effort that he brought his team in and showed the people from Austin that this team can play. 